sweaters in there, like isn't it? Sounds like a doctor, it? like uh, the wrong kind of doctor, the kind you don't want to go to. I have to go to the prognostic. That's what it sounds like, yeah. Somebody snaps the glove. the glove. Don't, don't, yeah. you, don't point that thing at me. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. Scary stuff. Okay. You're our weather prognosticator right here. Yes. Yeah. I will be prognosticating a little bit of weather here. Uh, <laughs> good and then morning. giving exams, apparently. Right. <laughs> Got my gloves. Good morning, everyone. It is 54 degrees right now in downtown. The winds are calm. Not a bad start to the day. 66% for our humidity and that barometer holding pretty steady for us right now. Okay, so here's what we've got. High pressure continues to hang out for us. Wasn't it gorgeous yesterday? Hopefully you had a chance to get outside, get a little vitamin D, uh, and then go watch the game. It was pretty fabulous, that Super Bowl. Okay, so high pressure hanging out for us. So that ridging is what happens when we've got high pressure hanging out under there. And you can see by the time we get to around Thursday, Friday, that look at that, it goes up even farther. So we are looking at these temperatures rising for us for Thursday and Friday, and then mellowing out just a little bit, but still that ridging is happening. So all week long looking pretty good. The weekend, next weekend, fantastic outdoor plans. Get out there, enjoy it. 71 degrees for today, right around lunchtime for all our friends in National City. Good morning to you. A very pretty day for us once again today. You may see a few clouds out there, but overall looking fantastic. What's up, surfers? Four to fair conditions for you. West Northwest swell, two to three footers for you out there. It's an easing swell. 750 for uh, that high tide today, just under six feet, and that low tide is just before three o'clock. Um, looking pretty good. 59 to 63 for that water temperature. 73 yesterday, and that's in Ramona, wasn't it? It was just a beautiful, beautiful day. 65 is the average, so we are well above that average. Looking so lucky to live here in San Diego. But look at the low coming in right there at 36. So just right where we should be. Hi, uh, sunrise, 83, that sunset, 520 days looking amazing today 76 and then looking at a good amount of sunshine these temps do drop just a little Tuesday and Wednesday but remember I talked about that ridging well Thursday Friday these temps climb back up look at that in uh, for our inland areas and even at the coast into the 70s staying in the low 70s for the weekend calming down just a little Saturday and Sunday fantastic so get outside have some fun and let's also take a look at traffic because it is starting yeah right that's us every day <laughs> right uh let's talk about this fog too fog you know, several days we've had this dense fog advisory. This is the fourth day that the National Weather Service of San Diego has issued this dense fog advisory uh, for the coast as well as our inland areas. Take a look right now. Three miles of visibility for San Diego. The rest of the county not looking. Laura out there at Torrey Pine. She said the fog has rolled right back on in with a vengeance. So, you know, just be mindful of the fact that there is still some fog out there this morning. And that uh, advisory lasts for another hour. What we've got is high pressure still dominating our atmosphere, bringing these temperatures still above. Compared to what we saw yesterday, but still relatively comfortable, maybe some few clouds. So we've got that jet stream up there separating that high pressure from the low pressure, which is to the north of us. Now that low moving in from Hawaii, we call that the Pineapple Express, bringing some rain even to Northern California, which is great news for the state. We can certainly use some of that rain, add it to the rain bucket, but temperatures for us down here few degrees we might see some clouds but not much by way of rain although tomorrow morning a very very slight chance we might see a little misting maybe a little sprinkle or two uh, but again any bit of rain that we can add to the rain bucket is good stuff for us now surfers today look out there not too three to five footers for you strong rip currents as well so very dangerous it's going to get even for the weekend, especially by Sunday, getting even bigger for us. Uh, West swell, that three to five footers, again, increasing to about seven feet by the time we get to Sunday. Our high tide comes in a little before 10 a.m. today, just under five feet, and that low tide is at about 4.30. Here's where we were yesterday at Lindbergh Field, 71 degrees. 65 is our average, so still well above that average. And again, today we may drop just a few degrees. Lows came in on the higher side at 54 versus the average. 
comfortable. And here's how the next seven days are looking. Brought to you by Valley View Casino and Hotel. Here is the forecast that we can pretty much bet on at the coast. 8 degrees. We're talking about 6 degrees and again a slight chance for some sprinkles for tomorrow morning. These temperatures do climb just a little a few extra clouds, some partially cloudy skies for us. Dropping for Monday. And then they start to climb right back on up for Wednesday, and especially by the time we get for our inland communities. Let's go ahead and take a look at traffic.